Hey everyone, this is Chris with CB Design and CBBags.com. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how I apply a wrap. Alright, starting off first, you're going to need, of course, your wrap. To do it, I use a, um, a straight edge, 6 inch by 24. You can get them at a, your local um, fabric store. Also, I use a material that's used on koozies right here roughly five inches by a little over 24 and you're gonna need some tape basically you're gonna take your koozie material and wrap it around the edge of your straight edge like that alright there you go just wrapped around like that and of course I always put a uh, clear coat down on top of the wood better off to let the uh, wrap to here to like a like a clear and not just bare wood and of course your next step is to make sure your board is nice and smooth I got a little bit more work to do make sure all the fragments and everything is off of here and of course I got a stain set stain sides Alright, once your board is smooth, lay out your wrap. I'm doing a uh, Broncos theme today. I then get a towel, place in the center, get something heavy, it can be anything, for some weight. Then what I do is I perfectly align the wrap up to exactly where it needs to be. Right, once it's lined up, you're going to peel back the wrap on one side, like so. Then we're going to cut away our backing with the X-Acto knife. I like to uh, use this one. Works pretty good, and plus it looks cool. Just like this. Grab your custom squeegee that you made. We're going to put it behind here, and then we're going to apply this part of the wrap. Okay? And just slowly put it on. Alright, roll your wrap back, and then double check your surface. Make sure there's nothing that got on there while you are doing that. Back to your squeegee. Your custom squeegee. Line up right there. Like so, and then you're going to reach back here and pull the backing up. Alright, you're going to peel up your backing. Take your squeegee. And just... Gentle pressure, you don't put too hard on it. I got more to do on this to get it on there pretty tight, but after that. We're going to put our straight edges on the ends, and then we're going to cut the strips on the ends. Alright, we're all set to uh, cut the edges off. Get yourself your straight edge. And what I do is I cut my line right at the start of the radius of your uh, routed uh, sides. Sometimes it's tricky to find it, but get it lined up close, especially get this end lined up. Clamp the one end down, 
The other end can stay loose. Get your knife. There it is. You're going to do that to all four sides. All right. Got it all done. Now it's time for the hole. Next, we're going to cut the hole out probably about an inch, you know, or so away from the edge of the board. That. Next, we're going to smooth the edges around so where you see right at this, right at the curve. Just Next, I made this custom uh, custom template that I use to mark the hole. Get that on there. I find the exact center, you know, the line, my cut line, right before it starts to radius down. Once you get it set, just tighten this a little bit. Exacto knife. It'd be easier with a wing nut. I'm eventually going to use a wing nut. Peel it up. Perfect hole. All right, it's now time for our clear coat. If you like my video, I know everybody uh, does their own thing when it comes to this, but if you're new, I think my way is a pretty good way. If you have any questions, you can reach me at chrisbirchdesign at gmail.com. You can also find me on Facebook, CB Design, Twitter and Instagram, at CB Bags, and... Um, if you're interested in thinking about uh, making a couple more of these templates I'm using. So if you'd like to purchase one, you can contact me as well. Thanks for watching.